What is up you guys? You're watching Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with today's gay homosexual video, please give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe button, anything that I buy, and including my entire outfit, I will leave a link down below. Today is Clear the Rack. I know it started yesterday for like the pre-members, whatever. I already have it, um, uh, that membership. I'm gonna show you something that I bought online that are absolutely amazing. I'll give you that in a second, but I just had to film like sit down videos first and I had to prioritize other things. So unfortunately I did it, but since I've been working hard so week, I decided I'll treat myself to this fun vlog and hope you guys love it. Um, let me give you an outfit of the day. Touch my dirty mirror and my apartment's still not finished, but um, the hat is from Tote Me. I have a discount code with Farfetch. Um, I'll leave it linked down below. My top is halogen. My Boutique Veneta Tote. The trousers are from the row. Um, and then these shoes are Celine. And then as far as jewelry, typical jewelry that Sergio wears all the time. Here we go. And then this is the stack of today. Yeah, guys, follow me along this journey. Let's see what we'll find. We're going to start at the one at the Houston Galleria and go through all of them. The only one that I will not go to is the one in the Woodlands. And it's because... I've literally have been there like five times the Pasada y Menida every time I go to Houston and I never ever ever find anything at that one and I don't really like the merchandise on that one. You would think that the Woodlands would be like equivalent to the one in South Lake, like that's what I would think. But they really don't have a lot, so therefore I'm not going to drive all the way over there. But I think there's like four or five other ones here in Houston, so we're going to go to all of them. Um, it's about to be 10, and let's come along with me. Let's see what we'll find on Northern Rack. I'm so excited to be doing these vlog style videos back. I miss them so freaking much, and I'm glad to have you guys sit back. Sergio's Secret is back. I know I was slacking the last couple of months. I really was, and I can admit it, but... I'm back and I'm back in full force and yeah, H-Town hottie. I got my Houston ID um, yesterday night and I was so excited. So I'm officially a Houston city girl. So um, let's go ahead and see what we can find guys and hopefully I don't burn up. It's about like 58 degrees outside and this is a thin cashmere. So hopefully I don't burn up. Okay, let's hope I don't. So I have been to this North Rack. It looks like it's La Mera Mera. Here in Houston, let's see what they have. Clear the rack. What is clear the rack? I don't know. There's no signs outside, so hopefully it is clear the rack. And this one's from two years ago for holiday. Got these rag and bones. These ones from the, were from the anniversary sale. Got this Trey Birch anniversary bag. Have a little Lee Raswell. These are actually kind of cute. And then a peri toe. But usually, I don't find success in accessories. Oh, they have the St. Laurent bag. Just MCM tote. And then they have some Valentino bags. And then a Moschino backpack. This is cute. This is from the anniversary sale. But it's also from the anniversary sale. So sometimes with the anniversary sale, it doesn't go straight to clearance. This is the uh, rack version of that Kurt Geiger bag. Um, so when it comes to the anniversary sale, what they do is whatever doesn't sell, whatever excess inventory, they'll use it as a new UPC and then they'll uh, do it like as a rack purchase versus it just going straight to clearance. Some items do straight go, go straight to clearance. But some items they make they turned into a rack item it's more so it can be sold kind of like as a full price item even though it's not a full price item if you know what i mean so like see this is the claire v anniversary bag so they took out the tag and they just put this one here so it's like their full price merchandise for the rack if you know what i mean it's i know it's on sale but it's their like full price so that's how it works so usually after the anniversary sale if a thing wasn't super super popular nine times out of ten you tend to find it especially in accessories not all the time and not absolutely everything but from time to time you can burberry belt they have some st laurent belts i got all these for literally 50 dollars at the st laurent outlet these ones are 230. Have some watches so hopefully guys i kind of give you like some tips and tricks too about how i talk about stuff see all that anniversary product to the mcm stuff and everything else um, for the most part is the buy for the rack see all that's buy for the rack 
Like I said, usually accessories is not what I usually hit on the most. Where is, I have a lot more of a better chance of finding things. Oh my god, like this Danny sweater. It's red, it's really pretty. It's 127. Not my favorite. I think this they have this 150. Really cute for the summertime. Um, let's see. I'm looking to buy kind of winter clothes. Um, I'm li limiting my. I, I hate these so much. When we got them at Full Line, I hated them so much. I think they're so ugly, and I don't and I don't critique everything really bad. I I tend to see the beautifulness of things, but that's just not cute. This is cute. I have a theory. Um, the Vince one and one of the little buttons came off. Actually, this is something that um, is really pretty. I already have one from um, Vince. Need a little thin blazer. This is cute too, this little Ganny. I love Ganny, but it's very springy vibe. So I'm definitely looking to buy maybe like a staple fall item. 535. This little leopard fantasy moment. <laughs> 571. I wonder what brand this is. It has so many sensors. This is a brand made in Scotland. It has one sensor, two sensors, three sensors. Kind of excessive. When I worked at the rack, we weren't supposed to put more than one sensor on items, even if it was a hot ticket item. This frame blazer, 150, but everything has to be 100% off. Ooh. Veronica Beard Blazer. Ugh. I'm kind of getting back into Veronica Beard Blazers. I feel like for a hot second, I really wasn't into them um, for whatever reason. I just felt like I was just like, mm, I kind of got bored of them. But now I'm kind of back into um, the little Veronica Beard moment. They have these frame shorts. That's a great price. These are size 30. And here's a little gay clearance section. I like the Rag and Bone shorts. But they're just low, and low is not very flattering for me. I will, I will say every time I'm at the airport, they always pat me down right here. My little, I don't know, do you call it your fufa? I don't know. I don't know, girl. But I always get pat down. They're just not my favorite. 89. These mother jeans, and these ones are in a size 27. And I like the wash of them. Um, This is something that I would want to try on. Summer ref jeans. Oh my god, they're only $20, but they're a size 24, so absolutely not. Not in this lifetime. Some redones. I love redone. Oh my god, I saw this one at the Grove in LA and I turned it on. But it is still $169. It is super cute though. Ugh, it's semi bonita, but it's definitely more of a summer fantasy vibe. This is actually really pretty. 169 plus the 20% off. I think it's pretty great. Let's see what they have in clearance for my big foot size. These Troy Birch ones are sorted tag. I don't really like the sole on them. Shoes with that type of sole honestly are not my favorite in my opinion. I don't really gravitate towards them. I think they look a little too mature. These are cute. A little gay block heel. Hmm. Like, I think these are really pretty, like these Troy Birch boots, but these ones were part of the anniversary, so. I think they're so pretty though. I, I really do like them. But if they had, if they were red tag, I definitely would buy them. I think they're so pretty. They have a little bit of a buy for a gamo. I've seen those on the Nordstrom website. These Gucci ones. Oh, you get that additional 25% off. Not a very desired shoe though. I will say that. These ones are cute. I would wear this one. This one would go with my hat. Let's 
these are cute, but these are full price. I've always liked these, not going to lie. These are $600. At first, I thought those were those popular Chloe boots. A little Bowling Straga moment. These little toy birches. I think these were the anniversary style too, 140. Okay, but these espadrilles are kind of fire. They're gold, I wish they were silver hardware, but I always struggle to find espadrilles. I think I'm gonna cop these ones. <coughs> oh, I had I had a gift card at home. No. I think my gift card's a hundred dollars. I mean, I would only pay fifty bucks for them. Hopefully the sensor doesn't go off. Oh no, they're too narrow. These are actually really pretty. Yeah, they're too narrow. But I also don't like the cut of them like that. But they, they're really pretty though. They just go with like, um, the shoes that I'm wearing too are Celine. And yes, I'm not wearing socks, so don't judge me. <laughs> These are so cute. These are narrow foot problems. Wide foot problems. I did find these little Gucci shoes, size 36, like literally right here. Yeah, but nothing very well factor, I will say. A little disappointed. To be each, me da, me da mucha hueva to try it on. I'm kind of lazy, but I think I'm gonna do these. I think they'll work. I do really like the color of them a lot. Um, so I think I'm just gonna do this, but this is the only thing I found, and this is supposed to be like the rack of the rack. But hopefully the other ones um, are way better luck. Oh my god, the parking lot got so packed very fast. Like, there was literally nobody here, and now the parking lot is crazy packed right now. But it's a pretty day here in Houston. God, guys, I found a little Claire V handbag. It's missing the strap, but it's totally fine. Um, it is a refurbished item, so it was once sold for full price. I would only get this for a really great deal. This is a really great summer bag to have. So this little gay Claire V is a great start, and it's something that I am going to go ahead and pick up. It will be a great addition with my Loewe basket bag. So I ended up selling the white one because it was like a little lopsided. And then I had two other ones. I sold the smaller one because <coughs> I knew eventually I wanted to get another basket bag. And now I have this one, and then I have my large... I think it's Paula Ibiza, that collection. I have that one. So now I have little two little gay basket bags and that is perfectly fine. I can't believe I found that. That's the only refurbished item that I've seen so far. I think this Nordstrom Rack is a lot better. It's a lot more packed. Um, people are definitely spending their coins up in this rack. Let's look through home. But oh my God, a Claire V little baggy. Absolutely yes, I am here for it. Um, where's the little gate clearance section at home? You know, now that I have a larger apartment and little gay Bottega, I didn't have a cart the last one. Um, no, I think this is just like full price stuff. That's not on clearance. I'm only shopping clearance. This already made the entire trip worth it. Claire V, absolutely, absolutely yes. And then the cases here is nicer. This rack is a lot nicer. I will say that. Oh my God, they have these Troy Birch sets. Um, it's like the envelope, and then it has um, like little pouches on the inside. They should probably display them out, but none other. They are really pretty, and then they have a bunch of watches. They have a little bit of Michelle. That's the one that I used to own before I sold it to my friend. Um, <coughs> girl, ain't nobody want the little gate iPhone cases. Um, Valentino belt. Oh, they have a Versace Medusa head belt. I wonder how much and what's the size on it. It's the classic one. Yeah, it's a classic Medusa one. It is 3, 3.30, 3.29.
and then some Gucci glasses, and then a McQueen wallet on chain. And they have this little Bottega little wallet. That's actually super adorable. They have all the little game art. Jacob's bags, those bucket bags are actually pretty cute, not gonna lie. It's really adorable. They're at 180. And they have all these little toy birch bags. They're all pretty much off price. There's some that I remember selling when I worked at Nordstrom. This, like when I shop here, I feel like I'm like clocking into work. I wonder where their designer row is at. That's where I want to start. I think it's over here, but yes, every time I like I'm here, I always feel like, oh my god, I'm at work. I'm gonna do I need to clock in? Um but yes, oh my god, yeah, this rack has like a lot more. This is like the rack to be at. So going forward, I never been to this rack, FYI. So now I know what racks be popping. You have no idea. <coughs> Some good American shorts. 50 bucks. These are actually kind of cute. I actually do want to try these on. I like the wash on them. <coughs> and then they have kind of like the regular standard. Girl, you know me. I love me my little shorts. These little page ones. Oh, I just love my toe. I think it's so pretty. I've been in, ever since I moved here, I've been in such in a great mood. This little a goldy. I just don't like the cut. I think they're very unflattering. They'll make me look super short. I will say I've never been a big fan of the Bermuda short. Like, it just looks like it, it, it's like, they're cute. But even something that's me almost six foot tall, I just don't think that they're a flattering denim. I really don't think so in my humble opinion. I found this really pretty Neely Lothin blazer. Um, 950, it looks a little small on the, on he, on the um, right here, but we shall see if it fits. I shall try it on. That one I can just try on. Trousers, I don't feel like taking my pants off because they're either white. And then last time I kind of like took it off and it, like, it made like, a big mark on these or just on white trousers in general. So I think I'm gonna hold off. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have some great active wear. I definitely wanna look at the footwear. Let's go to my big foot size. I don't have that big of a foot, but I just like to be funny. That's still a little pricey. For me, it's either I pay full price or, uh, or like a slight discount, like under 10% off, or I have to get it like such a good deal. For me, there's not, an in-between does not exist in my book. Allegedly. Speaking of these looking McQueen sneakers, so yesterday I was at Nordstrom.com. Like I, I was at the bar with my friends and I just happened to look at shoes because um, my friend had went to the restroom and I bought some McQueens for like literally like $180 and they were extra 25% off. I went to the picture. This would be my fifth pair of Alexander McQueen sneakers. I used to hate on them so bad. These are actually kind of cute. Who makes you? $100 and you are Carl I used to hate on them so bad, but now, oh, these are cute too. Okay, Vince Camuto, $89. I like the chain detail. I used to hate on them so bad, and now I'm here I am with my fifth pair. But what I like about them is that they have a transparent sole on them. They're like the ones that I got my brother for Christmas last year, and so, Therefore, they're, I, those are the, I've always wanted a transparent pair, and I love the, like, the brownie snakeskin in the back, because I just feel like it kind of goes in with that um, theme of the, of the fall and the winter vibe. Aren't these popular, right? I think these Converse are really popular. I got my Hermes sandal at Um But I can't believe I got them for like, literally for such an amazing steal. Like, I cannot, I actually ordered two. I got a pair for my brother, so hopefully he takes them. But I, when I came back, when my friend came back from the restroom, I told him that I just bought them. <gasps> These look like the boots from the row, the ones that didn't fit me because of my white foot. Let's see who makes you. Oh my god, Nordstrom actually does have good stuff. Like as far as shoes. I mean, they're not on clearance, but they're they're pretty great. I wish my white foot can fit into those road shoes. The row actually had a price increase on all their um, footwear. Oh my god, Amina Muadi. We got Amina Muadi up in the house. Oh 
But yeah, McQueen sneakers. These are Tory Burch um, Cloud Millers dupes. Yeah, this is my outfit. Oh, my cashmere stretching. Um, the glasses are stretching out my cashmere top. I got this one when I worked at Nordstrom, and I got it for forty dollars. And then I had in it. This one I got at Nordstrom. It was like sixty percent off. I got it for forty bucks or fifty bucks, and then my discount. And these ones I got at Last Call, and then these ones I got from the Nashville um, Nordstrom from my essay. Conquered it all. I didn't look through men's shoes. I probably should. Um, all these are kind of, like the, the back they have like a juniors department when I worked at Nordstrom they didn't have a juniors department um, juniors clothing has never been my cup of tea even when I worked at cold and stuff other than like working at Victoria's Secret I'm just not a juniors person or even like men's pre like men's young adult clothing like all those little brands like I'll do top man and like a few of them like, but for the most part I'm not really into like more juvenile clothing I like a little bit more of the like a little bit more dressy clothing or like your elevated like dress pant or your elevated workout clothes that's just how i always kind of been in general i'm <laughs> definitely way too small but i do want to show you que si estaba a little too short but i'll just take all these with the bag and then i'll just figure it out later um but yes i don't i'm not sure about these ones but i know these ones and these ones would definitely fit and the color looks a little bit more darker in person than on the iphone we are at the next nordstrom rack for clear the rack i feel like this kind of gives me like parks of arlington vibes because it's like by a mall oh well, it's inside of a mall i think oh yeah there is a mall entrance so definitely gives me parks mall of arlington vibes and definitely by these carts as well gives me the vibes mall a little bit i kind of want a starbucks coffee oh my god they have this little gay coach bag this is super cute and the, but these are all anniversary styles and like i said they're just here retied as something else they have this um eddie flop this is kind of new with the nylon. I think this is current Rebecca, and they have these a little longchamp bags. I'm in skimming through this entire rack. There is not one item that I want to buy here. This is probably one of the. I kind of like this one a little bit better than the one in the Woodlands, just because it's a lot larger and spacier. But definitely ranking out as one of the bottom racks. Definitely nothing exciting. Nothing that gives me that wow factor. And then they have all these new arrival items. <laughs> like, and there's like nothing, everything is like made for the rack. Like, it, there's nothing like that I want to go like, oh my God, I want to buy. Page jeans for 50 bucks, that's not that bad. I'm not gonna say can't lie to you. Not gonna lie, those are a good deal. I will say that. I'll, I'll give credit where it's due. But everything else is just, hmm. But they do have a Giorgio Armani suit here. That's probably, that's probably the only designer item I saw here, other than like eyewear and a few handbags. But no, what a disappointment. I take that back. This mall isn't that bad. You wanna know why? There to be a, a Zara in a, in a mall is a pretty big deal because there's not a few huge Zaras, but for there to be one, I think that's a pretty, pretty indication that this mall is doing quite well. It may look a little older in, in, the, in the inside, but they have a Zara, so I'm assuming the rest of the mall is over here. So I'm gonna get myself a little gay coffee, and I'll leave all the locations of everywhere where I'm going. And then at the end, I'll do a try on haul, and then I'll go ahead and tell you my favorite racks, um, and I'm gonna be ranking them from least to favorite. We are at the next Nordstrom rack. This one's the one in Sugarland. I think I'm in Sugarland. Honestly, I don't even know where I'm at. I'm just kind of winging it, but. I also did this video so I can kind of like see different parts of Houston, I guess shopping centers and just like different areas, different vibes. But I have a feeling this one gives me Nordstrom Rack and Plano vibes back home. But let's see what's up. Let's see what goodies we could find. Um, so far, we'll say the second one was my favorite one. And the last one that we went to is probably the worst rack that I've ever been to. Okay, obviously we start with accessories as always. We have this Embrace Ambition Carry Tote by Toy Birch. This one, 100% of the proceeds were supposed to are, are supposed to go to her foundation. 
This is 180 for the little Perry orange. They have these Kirk Geiger ones, anniversary, anniversary. I don't, I think that was anniversary too. Honestly, unpopular opinion, Kirk Geiger is not my favorite brand. I don't think they're good quality. And they've been to the same Tory that we've been seeing all over the place. Um, let's see, let's see if there's some NQC handbags. The clear the rag did start like two days ago, a day ago. So, I mean, I did find stuff, but I'm still being optimistic. I'm not gonna be a Debbie Downer. Oh, they have like a Tweed Fleming right there. A little gay Tweed Fleming moment. And Moschino, and then some higher end eyewear. Hey, good news. Shopping Direct has done a whole lot easier with more ways to pay. Now you can use tap to pay cards. Isabel Morant clutch. Like and they have a little Toy Birch um, little green wallet on chain. That Isabel Morant clutch is kind of fire, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm pretty sure it's on clearance. It's kind of fire for the holidays. I'll look at it in a second if I don't find anything else. Not gonna lie. And then that Toy Birch green one, I remember, I don't think it's on red tag, but I do remember it was a full price item. That is one clutch is kind of fun. Like with my simple style, like the New Year's Eve clutch. Oh my God, a Patagonia jacket. Extra, extra large. I remember growing up, I always wanted a pair of these. And I did get them, but I didn't get them until, until they started going on clearance. Until whenever they didn't become popular anymore. Or whenever the popularity went down. Oh my god, we have another boot. This one's from Sam Edelman. It's 55 from 180. Um, it's 55% off, and they look like the road. These ones are actually pretty cute, too. Uh, so the clutch was 260 from 745 and the baggie. Right there was 89 from 228, I believe, or 198. I think it's 228. And then they have a Michelle watch here. Well, honestly, I thought this back was gonna have like a lot more of a selection. Okay, don't let me know that they really don't. So we are here at the last word to Mac. I think it, the area is called Baybrook or the shopping center. I really don't know. It's that mall before. I was there when I was looking at apartments in this area, but I was like, no girl, I want to live like in the middle, middle pedo, like in Houston, Houston. But I will say this area is pretty nice. I like it. Um, there's the Ulta. I have a 10 off 10. So I always get them for whatever reason. I get them like super frequently, like every month. But um, we're going to go in here and let's see what we will find. Oh my god, the last two stores were like complete done. So hopefully there's something in this one. The same back that was with the other rock. All the same bags. I remember when we had this one in store. So they have some Versace kids slides, Kogaya, ooh, Fendi. <laughs> I want two fifty for the Fendi. Damn, that's a steal. Two fifty for dollars. That is a steal, steal. I texted one of my friends. I think she's that size. I'm gonna text two of my other friends. I think they're the size. If that is a steal. Two fifty for those. Those are beautiful. Those are really pretty. And they have like some other brands of shoes. Oh, they have an Isabel Marat belt. I think it's in a size. I don't know, it doesn't say, but I can ask it to look at it. Oh my god, those Fendi shoes are everything, and they're such a good price. Oh, I guess they put all the clearance stuff here. They have the clearance Gucci and Tom Ford eyewear too. Oh my god, these Fendi's are fire. There is quite a bit of um, NQC tags here. I haven't found anything that I like, but this store has the most of it out of all the stores we've been to. This is cute. They have these Veronica Beard shirts. 
these ones are NTC's 3697. But I just hate how the rocks are like so popped. This one does have a pretty good selection of stuff. I've always liked those Sam Edelman shoes. They have good stuff here, but I didn't see anything that was like, wow. Like, wow, wow, wow. This teacher hasn't been the best. What's up, you guys? So now I am back home, and I'm going to show you everything that I purchased from Nordstrom Rack. And then um, if you guys want to follow Houston City Boys, where I'm going to be posting everything Houston, where I eat, where I shop, what I do. So if you are interested, go ahead and follow it. So um, I, my close friends on Instagram, I had posted who wants these Fendi shoes, who wants them, who wants them, who wants them. And I had a few friends hit me up, but obviously I went with the one that was first. And so she's getting them and they are a graduation gift to herself. Um, they are these Fendi beautiful, beautiful heel. They have this beautiful mesh. It has this beautiful metallic finish. The back of the sole are unnew. The employees were like, we didn't even know this was out. 250 was the price of them. I wish that they were red tag. It would have been even a spectacular deal. But I'm really glad that I was able to get this for my friend. And now she has some beautiful shoes to walk her graduation in. And she doesn't really like big, oversized, saturated heels. This is a perfect walkable. And since it is mesh, um, it will be nice and breathable. But it won't be kind of like sweaty and messy, kind of like the PVC shoes. So um, Fendi heels is definitely going to be a yes in my book. Um, the next item, so whenever I was looking at this, I texted my other friend and I was like, hey, they have this tote, I think you kind of want it. And so it is a Monster Gabrielle tote. It retails for $800 and it, it was $233.97 and then it had the extra 25% off. And so here it is and it's just a Monster Gabrielle tote. Not my cup of tea, I will be honest, but she did like it and so I ended up purchasing up for her. So Monster Gabrielle tote in this tie-dye. Um, the next thing that I got are these mother jeans. I got them at the first rack. Um, I can already tell they're going to fit and I can already tell that I'm going to love them now that I have them here like in front of my face. They are so pretty and I just love the wash of them. I think the wash is really well. I got myself the Claire V bag. Um, I think this is a really great one and it will complement my Louis V basket bag and since this material is a little bit more durable than let's say the Louis V basket bag and you can compact it and this is going to be a really great bag to travel. I really don't care that the strap is missing, it is what it is. Um, I usually change outfits all the time, so if I do need a bag with a strap, I will most likely have another bag with a strap, or I'm pretty sure Claire V sells straps, and I can just buy one if I really do want one, but this Claire V um, basket bag was a really great deal. This one was $50 from $250, and it had the extra 29% off. The jeans were $90, and it had an extra 29% off. And everything that I purchased, for, uh, yeah, everything that I did purchase is a um, full line item, a full price item that was one sold at full line Nordstrom. Um, now that I see these, I don't, they're not going to fit. I should have known they're a little, little bit too small on the cintura, so I'll probably end up returning those. I should have known better. Um, these good American shorts, um, I could already tell if they're going to fit. They're going to be really well. These ones are the bombshell fit. They retail for $120. They were there for $50 and had the additional 20% off. So I felt like it was a phenomenal deal. Um, and then the last thing that I got are a pair of leggings. Um, ever since I got rid of my Lululemon leggings, I just always need extra leggings. And this kind of gives me Ariana Grande, like, uh, no tears left to cry kind of vibe. So I kind of went for it. So I ended up getting two things for my friend. Um, the Monster Gabrielle toe, the beautiful Fendi heel. Like, it is absolutely phenomenal. And for $250, absolutely yes. And then for myself, I got myself a mother jean, good American shore, a legging, and a handbag. And I thought that was a pretty great deal. And um, all of the things that I get that doesn't even match to the price of this handbag. So um, I think I did pretty, pretty good in my book, if you ask me. Now, I'm going to be telling you my least favorite to favorite locations. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll leave them linked down below, um, the location, so you guys know. But you can also follow Dallas. Um, you can also follow... Uh, Houston City Boy and you will find out um, but I will tell you which ones were my favorite to least favorite and I'll also leave it linked down below for you guys so my least favorite location was the one in the Willowbrook Mall it was absolutely awful I quite hated it and I will probably never go to that Nordstrom Rack again 
the the next one that I didn't really like at all is going to be the one in Sugarland, Texas. I think it was quite awful. I didn't like the selection and I was really disappointed. And then the third location that I don't like is going to be at the Woodlands. You would think that the Woodlands would be more prestige. They would have, you know, they have a Louis Vuitton, they have a full line Nordstrom, um, they have a Troy Birch boutique in the Woodlands, and you would think that they would have a nicer Nordstrom Act. I've been to Nordstrom Act probably like three times. Every time I leave Houston, I try to stop buying, pick up stuff, and just the buy is awful, and I don't really like it, and that's why I didn't drive all the way to the Woodlands, because for me, it just was not worth it. And then, um, the other three stores I did like, so all those three stores, the Willowbrook, the Sugarland, and the Woodlands, would not recommend at all. And then I'm going to tell you my other favorite one. So I will say um, my favorite, favorite, favorite one that I saw and that I will continue to go to because I know that they're going to have good stuff is the one that's on 9714 KD Freeway. That one was huge. The selection was phenomenal and I quite like it. I also like the one right next to the Houston Galleria. That was a really great one as well. And then where I got the Fendi shoes and stuff is going to be the one in Webster, Texas. And so I would say those three are my favorite. And then the other three are like my least favorite that I kind of don't care for. So I wouldn't recommend the other three at all. I, I really wouldn't. And I'll stick with the one in Webster, Texas, Houston Galleria, and then the one that's off the uh, 9714 KD Freeway. Those three I would recommend, the other three I would stick away from. But I'll leave everything that I purchased down below if I could find it. I want to say thank you, thank you so much for watching this gay homosexual video. Uh, follow the Instagram account because I'll be posting quite a lot. And even though I didn't buy a lot, I'm actually quite satisfied with everything. And like I said, I'm more picky with a lot more items that I have now in my collection. And I cherish them and I appreciate them a lot more. I'd love to hear your little gay thoughts and opinions down below. And I'll see you guys on the next gay video. Bye guys and thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video and spending the day with me and coming with all the Nordstrom Max with me. 